Hi people, it's Archivist here, and with Nintendo releasing a patch to try and bring some level of stability to the online for Smash Ultimate, I thought it was an appropriate time to release a beginner's guide to Smash. And I say this because as I've been playing online, I've been seeing some really, really good players who clearly will learn nothing from what I have to say, but then some more basic players who maybe could do with just a little bit of advice to help them get started online. So, uh, let's have a look at the list of things that I have made a note of to talk about. Number one is to keep on rolling. I found that when I was playing against the AI, I could sort of rely on being very offensive and I didn't have to dodge or shield that often. However, when you're playing against a human, they'll often be far more opportunistic. So, for example, if you're trying to constantly do a forward smash, they will always get behind you and attack you from the back and start to build up the percentage. So, it's the only way to counter that is, of course, to be super agile yourself. You can do this either by just blocking, although keep in mind this makes you vulnerable to uh, grabs, so you're not completely invincible. Uh, but if you deploy a shield and then quickly move the analog stick either left or right, this will do a dodge. You can't dodge infinitely, well, you can't dodge effectively infinitely because eventually the dodges will start to diminish in their effectiveness and it will leave you vulnerable. But it's a great move just to, as your opponent is about to do a heavy attack, dodge behind them and then start doing either a smash attack if they've left themselves very vulnerable. But in most scenarios, you're just going to want to do like a basic attack to start building up percentage. It's a game where you have to always be on the move. If you are always on the offensive, your opponent, especially if they're using a very fast character, will just be able to land hits on you constantly and you'll never have that opportunity to actually do any damage. Also be aware of when both you and your opponent are invulnerable. For example, while they're uh, hanging off the edge of a stage, it's kind of tempting to think if you're a new player that this is when they're vulnerable, but in reality, they're invincible until they decide to come up and attack you. So what I find is best to do now, although my footage may not show this because I've only kind of just started doing this, is actually to move back from the ledge when they're holding on because otherwise they'll spring out and do an immediate attack on you. What you want to happen is for them to spring out, do the attack, and then there'll be enough room for you to retaliate, but you need to give some space to allow for that to happen. So that would be my absolute number one piece of advice. I mean, if you watch any pro players, you'll just see them constantly dodging around each other, and it's clearly something that is integral to master if you want to do well online. I myself am using it in a slightly spammy sense at the moment, but it's clear when someone is using it correctly because they'll incorporate the dodge with a grab or something to that effect. Another one, learn your character's weakness and how another character counters them. So I've been playing as Link, as you can see on the screen, and I have made the observation that although he has some incredibly strong attacks, uh, he also is rather slow in a number of them. And so what I was trying to do at first was just get as many heavy forward smashes on my opponent as I possibly could because I knew that that would do the most damage and was the most likely to launch them but I realized that in doing this particularly against fast characters it just meant I was always leaving myself vulnerable because most characters could hit me before I hit them. So instead I learned that either I had to rely on the basic attack and just do a free hit combo so that I could get my hits in quickly but where my opponent was even faster I actually had to rely on ranged attacks more than I did melee attacks in order to build up percentage so I would use my bow and arrow, my bombs and my boomerang to be able to build up that percentage so the moment they get into the red then and only then would I try and use my launch attacks and when I did use my launch attacks I often had to ensure that I was in a uh, a position where I wasn't vulnerable so I would rather than running at them and doing the launch attack I would often have to try and dodge behind them you know seeing my last point and then attack them and of course this is just an example of one character you might say someone like Sonic is sort of the opposite lots of quick attacks but not a lot of launches someone like Kirby is very lightweight but weirdly hard to hit off the stage because he can bob up and down so it's not just worth learning your own weaknesses and your own strengths, but how should you go up against an opponent? I mean, for example, if I'm fighting someone like Ganondorf, he's a character that has, a lot of the time, even slower attacks. So I don't necessarily have to rely on my quick attacks. I can actually just try and use my heavy attacks to defeat him. So it's not just 
how is my character good and where are they weak perhaps but also what are the weaknesses of my opponent it would be really nice if there was like a top trumps display where you could see things like attack agility and speed but there isn't you just have to learn that for yourself over time i mean i'd be happy to try and create those guides if i've got time in the future also and this is <laughs> just a general morale boost but i will give some footage just to prove this point never give up things can turn around and this goes for free for alls and 1v1s but i'll show you this free player free for all that i had uh, <laughs> just before i made this video and at one point it seemed obvious that i was going to lose the match so they were just faster than me they were better equipped they were better at dealing with me the kirby very easily launched me off the side of the stage when i was trying to recover and i think it got to a point near the end where i thought i'm gonna lose I can't really risk actually fighting them anymore. I have to take a more conservative approach. So rather than trying to run up against them directly, I sort of threw out a few arrows where I could, but I largely let them fight each other. And then, as luck would have it, right at the very end, Kirby managed to launch, or actually just knock off the stage, um, Cloud. And just as he did that, I went in with my side B and just knocked Kirby out. And in like less than a second almost... Both players were knocked out and I won. And I couldn't believe it, but it just showed that if you play it smart, especially I think in free throws, I have to be honest, more than 1v1s, you can turn matches around. So never get to that point where you're like, well, I'm obviously going to lose. I'm just going to throw this match because you can, it seems, turn it around if you play it right. And lastly, I would learn to uh, prioritize items. Things like Master Balls, which contain a lot of the time, though, seemingly not always legendary pokemon are always worth going they can truly turn the tide of battle you've also got the laser sword which has this extremely powerful and long-reaching forward smash which i advise going for whenever you can but then you've got some items that just aren't worth the effort of trying to get towards things like bombs for example although they can be very effective if your opponent manages to get them with a projectile you could end up blowing yourself up so it's worth learning which items are worth going for and which should be ignored. I mean, for example, although food is great for reducing your percentage, it's not always worth the hassle of trying to get to it and making yourself vulnerable. Even things like the hammer, which is extremely powerful, are great. But as you'll see in uh, this clip I'm going to show now against Diddy Kong, uh, I went to grab the hammer because it's so powerful, but because I can't properly recover with it, I was knocked into the ocean and I just fell and sank and died. So you've also got to learn when is it most appropriate to use these items. So this was just a short um, improv guide uh, based on what I've been playing so far on Smash Brothers. Uh, absolutely nothing in depth, I make no pretense of that. But as I play more and get a slightly more experience and hopefully as the connectivity problems begin to completely subside, I'll be able to give some more in-depth stuff, potentially focusing on specific characters. Uh, I don't intend to ever make scripted guides i've always i always want to go for this more sort of casual laid back approach because i think there are many channels out there that will be able to do a far better job of giving you that really tight solid advice so i thought maybe just make it a bit more laid back and a bit more casual hopefully some people will appreciate at least the variation on that if nothing else so as always people thanks very much for watching and see you next time